If you're currently experiencing a loss, it's possible to have a DNC performed for the purpose of getting some tissue from the uterus that can be sent to a laboratory that would test for the chromosomal makeup of the embryo that you were carrying. So if we find out that the embryo was abnormal, which is honestly the majority of the time, we're going to know what the cause of that loss was. One of the benefits of knowing the cause of the loss can just be a psychological benefit. You know that it wasn't anything that you did or didn't do that caused that pregnancy loss. That indeed, when egg met sperm, it was just a mistake that happened and that embryo could only grow to a certain point. And that puts a lot of women at ease knowing that that was the cause. Um, sometimes we can find out problems with the embryo <clears throat> that helps us point the, the couple into a certain direction for future treatment. So if the woman has been trying for pregnancy and having multiple losses and we end up doing the products of conception testing and the embryo does come back normal, I'm sorry, abnormal, then sometimes that will push a, a woman into considering something like donor egg. Or we can find out that it was actually um, a cause from the sperm. And if we've been wondering about quality of sperm, which is something that's very difficult to test for, but if we've been wondering about that and then we find out that an embryo was abnormal because of a sperm issue, then that may result in us moving more towards either IVF with pre-implantation genetic diagnosis or even donor sperm in some situations. It's actually also possible to get tissue that was taken from a DNC from previous pregnancies. That tissue is stored for a long period of time and uh, the slides that are made, the, that the pathologist made, those slides can be obtained and sent to the laboratory and also be tested. So sometimes if women come to the office and they've had two or three losses in the past and they've had a DNC, it's possible to get those records and that can, the results of those testings of the, those previous pregnancies can also help us figure out exactly what's going on.